Hello everyone, I'm back and in this video I'm going to share with you information I got. So I was quite busy, uh, you know, last month. So first of all, a job trip, then family problems. I mean, not problems, just you know, uh, preparations for holidays, for you know, many, 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 many other other stuff, and and eventually I uh, I was sick for for about a week or so, and yeah, a lot of stuff. So now I'm going to get back be because I'm not going to betray to betray all of you there because I know that you all expecting something from me. So first of all, I want to say that you know I have uh, you know many people that are expecting from me Five Nights at Teddy's 2.0 then people uh, who are waiting for you know for stealth action game and uh, other people you know I'm working I'm, I'm I'm helping them with their projects and I have to do something I mean you know just to just to help those people with the stuff they are expecting from me so you know so my support I mean and finally I got back and and I registered also uh, yesterday a uh, Twitch account so I'm I want to uh, to broadcast live videos I hope I will do this because now I'm just you know I'm just finally at, at my computer finally I'm back finally you know I wipe it off my dust just from my keyboard and in this video you know I'm not going to t you know tell you more of these stories I'm going to uh, show you what I have here so I have here three guys uh, and those guys they are uh, uh, so I'm going to show you what I have here so uh, so this guy and this guy they are located on the same height and this guy is a bit lower, so he is closer to the surface. And when I press play, uh, they will fall, fall down, yeah. And uh, look, uh, and this guy, this guy is uh, a little closer to the surface, to the earth, to the ground, and he will, he will break apart, right? So we don't. So he'll die, okay, so he will, you know, he's now is dismembered into parts and he's dead. And this guy, this guy will use him to save his ass. So, you know, so he survived and this guy is dead. So it's about dismemberment for Unity 3D. So what, what, what? Oh my god, no. It's not good. Okay, anyway, and it's about, you know, basic dismemberment. So, you know, it's uh, for, uh, you know, for just uh, cylinders, capsules, and spheres. And this is what I have for you, you know, so the next step. Next step is about real dismemberment. So, uh, my logic about dismemberment is quite simple. So, I'm going to paint. Where is my paint? Here's my paint. Uh, so, yep, so this is our guy, right, and when we want to dismember him into, you know, two parts, for instance, we need to copy him and his position of his limbs and his skeleton and put his, you know, clone exactly where his uh, initial body is located, so so here, here we have uh, two objects. So uh, original ragdoll and a sector and second clone. And so here we have you no. Know, this guy is over here, actually. So we have here two ragdolls in the same place. And he, so here, here we will disable uh, legs for him. And here we will disable the a torso with uh, with arms and head. So and this is how it will look like. So I I'm going to go to 
game screen and I'm pressing I'm pressing Q I mean X what sorry something is not good here once again X okay so you can see it right so I'm pressing X hop hop and he is he's he's he is dismembered and to show you that it's not fake I'm going to manipulate uh, you know with size of the head of this guy so I go to rag to drag head and just like just like in a G mode I'm going to increase size 5 5 5 so you will see that it's not fake I am pressing kicks X once again and up and here we go he dismembered into, into two parts okay and the script is quite simple it's very it's extremely simple so I'm going to show you what I have here so I have here uh, so basically this variable uh, this is um, this is uh, this guy so ragdoll so ba so on a start we have this guy with animator so he has animation which is playing play in in action and we have this script attached so ragdoll it is this guy, spine, uh, you know this uh, left uh, leg and right leg, and uh, boolean variable, and this is what's happening in a script. So uh, here is our guy, this ragdoll, initial ragdoll. This is a private variable for remembering a initial ragdoll. This is uh, for his bones. So, so it's uh, you know to make dismemberment. So, I will uh, explain this later. So, and this is boolean variable. So, this is what's happening. So, I press here. Oh wait! Ah, who? Oh, yeah. So, if we press X, so this variable. Is, so look, if this variable is false. And we are pressing X, so this variable will be true, and this will happen only one time. So he will dismember it. He will be dismembered it only once. And here we remember his ragdoll, and we are disabling. We are disabling his animator, like this, and he is falling down, right? And meanwhile, we are mm, scaling down to zero his spine so spine yeah, this one so this is what's gonna happen if we scale it down to zero so I'm going to uh, spine one right spine zero 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 right and we will see here a crazy you know this um, so he will behave very strange so you know so just like on electroshock okay so so he will be like you know on taser so he will move in crazy, you know, this guy. And to prevent this crazy movement, you, you have to disable, I mean, to to destroy all uh, uh, the components from from the child's, from a child, from children, children of this spine bone. So I mean, I mean, uh, you know, all these children. So this is children, right? So we are killing all the components here uh, through the script so this is what's happening really so I'm killing this uh, manually all the components yeah and uh, he will eventually okay so you, so you, you can see it here so he is not moving anymore so it, but this is happening you know automatically in script so here we go so we have uh, so we hide his torso and then we destroy all the components from his torso so like this Carter joint rigid body box collider capsule collider sphere collider so you know it's for uh, it's for um, head sphere collider 
Then we are cloning, cloning, uh, you know, his ragdoll, and we are using, uh, you know, what we remember it, you know, here. So we are, yeah, we are instantiating uh, what we remembered. So initial ragdoll, and in this initial ragdoll, we uh, we show we show his uh, torso but uh, hide his legs and that's all so I'm I'm going to uh, show you the full version of the script so you can now make a print screen one print screen okay and one I mean second print screen and the last print screen so yeah, it's about dismemberment. So it's very basic dismemberment script and techniques. So, I mean technique. So you can use it for free. Yeah. And I'm going to try it once again. Yeah. So, okay. So we... I'm pressing X. Oh. Okay, so he is now it is dismembered to parts of his body. So now you can see it here. So I have here clone, clone, right? So what do we have here? Clone, right? So he has head, right? Head uh, and torso, but no legs. And this guy has only you know legs, but not torso. Yeah. And head is rolling egg or head, egg head. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, what I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, yeah. Once again, I'm going to show you that this is not fake. I'm going to increase size of his uh, his spine maybe spine oh, ape like ape oh, ape like really look like ape <laughs> okay and I'm pressing X oh my god where and you can see so this is this does work so we have here we have a part of his body dismembered and the uh, once again, let's just press play and let's just dismember his body once again. So let's just use uh, this clavicle. Three, three, three. Oh, no. Like this. Three, three, one. And once again, dis dismember his body and his. Uh, our guy is. Dismember it. Yeah. Two parts of his body. Clone. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later.